Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you're currently watching, not on three monitors. Why aren't you watching me on three monitors? Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the top five beginner boards for 2022-2023. That's right. I was told I had to coddle a few people, so, you know, I put on a decent sweatshirt that doesn't really intimidate people and I probably won't use much profanity and we'll figure out what your first board should be. So let's dive into this list. Number five, the GNU GWO, full reverse camber, basically saucer sled status, but you get magnet traction so it's actually going to grip. This is really going to help you learn how to roll your body forward and backwards as you get the dynamics down of how you need to ride. You will probably develop some bad habits, but hopefully we can stop you before you go and buy another full reverse camber and get you on something with actual traditional camber. But you know, if you only ride three days a year, this is probably absolutely perfect for the board for you and you won't have a problem with it being so forgiving. Number four, the Capita Pathfinder. What's good about this board is you get two camber options. You get reverse for the people that just like to lean back and be like, I'm doing a wheelie, can't turn, gonna run into you. And you also can get it with a camber dominance to it so you can actually learn how to drive a snowboard properly with it. Basically, it's the Capita, my first snowboard. You can just thrash the shit out of this thing. You never have to worry about it. Oops, I used some profanity. Hopefully that's okay for you with delicate sensibilities that are beginners because I've been told I've been too harsh with how I deal with you. I should probably put oven mitts on when I talk. Anyways, this board isn't gonna be overly aggressive. You're gonna be able to progress through learning how to turn and go a little bit further with it, you're not gonna have anything holding you back. Number three, the Nitro Prime. It rides like a well-broken in snowboard. It's good on edge. You get a little bit of snap where you need it. It's playful, it doesn't hold you back. It's one of those boards that you can go from being a never ever to learning how to carve and it's still not gonna hold you back. You're gonna be able to pop off a roller and kind of just learn what you've got going on. It's good bang for the buck, in all honesty. Like, this board is kind of criminally underrated. Number two, the K2 Ray Gun. Not the Ray Gun Pop. It's a little too advanced for some of you people, but the actual Ray Gun, the flat to rocker profile one, this is gonna give you that stability of the flat with that ease of entry from that rocker in there. And it's a board that you can go from never ever to solid intermediate. It's gonna be fine in pow, it's gonna be fine on a groomer, it's gonna be fine learning how to link turns, how to actually carve. It's never going to fully hold you back. I love this board. Every time I get on this board, I'm like, hey, I forgot how good this board is for the price. It's like solid bang for the buck. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. The Solomon Pulse, the Nidecker Score, the Burton Instigator. Like I said, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. And for you beginners that are like, why didn't it crack the top five of this list? Because there's better ones on here. These are still good. You're a beginner. You don't know what you're doing. You could buy any of these three and you'd be fine. And the number one beginner board for 2022-2023 is the Ride Agenda. Now, it is camber dominant. You're probably going to hook an edge. You might eat shit. You might knock the wind out of you. Maybe you'll snap a collarbone or break a wrist. But you know what? It's going to teach you how to properly load camber and drive. It's the most aggressive board on this list and it's not going to hold you back as you progress but it's also not gonna allow you to have any shitty habits. Because let's be real, even though I had to put the oven mitts on, just visualize them, they're not there, I'm not gonna coddle you. You need something that's a little more aggressive and yeah, the learning curve is gonna be a lot harder, but you put the work in now, it's gonna pay off later. You wanna cut corners? Go buy the board on number five. Wheelie till your heart's content. It's a good board, but it's not gonna take you to the next level like this is. That's what I like about it. It's got solid snap. It's got a stone ground finish. It's not so aggressive that you're gonna have to be on top of it all the time. But when you're just starting out and you're just learning how to do things, yeah, you're probably gonna hook an edge. And you know what? The first time you knock the wind out of yourself, you're gonna be like, I never wanna do that again. And that's gonna be in your head the rest of the day you're learning to ride. And then you're gonna try to pick up all the good habits and drop all the bad habits. Kind of like dating that girl named Crystal that claimed she was a dancer and that no, she didn't have crabs. Let me tell you about crabs. You can't cure them with fire. It just burns you, just like Crystal. Goddamn Crystal, don't be like Crystal. 
This has been my top five list for beginner boards for 2022, 2023. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, could tell you more here. Got a video over there. Explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery. Lefebvre, and if a girl named Crystal asks you if you see me, you don't tell her I'm alive. You tell her I died. And I'll see you in another video.